Hi! Do you want to know how to use the rest of your year to make it the best of your years? So in this video, we will have a deeper look into the characteristics of the horse and forecast what the rest of the year has to offer for them. Which months are easy and which hide a bit of a danger for this Chinese zodiac sign? Because when you know what's coming, you can respond to it in a successful way, right? So do you know your personal Barca, your Chinese horoscope? to make the best for your relationships, personal development and business development in this second half of the water rabbit year. What's in it for you? So let me show you where to find out how to use the power of your personal bonds to optimize and achieve your goals. And if you stay tuned until the end, I will give you some special dates for the horse in the second half of the water rabbit year, when to take action for luck and success in 2023. So hi, I'm Sandra, and I've been teaching and consulting Feng Shui Barze as well as meditation and manifesting for over two decades now, first in Germany and now here in beautiful Australia and New Zealand. In this forecast video, we will have a deeper look into the characteristics of the horse and what the rest of the year has to offer, which months are easy and which could be a bit more complicated for this animal sign. And for this, we will have a look into the four pillars of destiny and what they can mean in relation to your personal development, business development, your relationships in general, and the, in this video, for the horse specifically. So do you want to know your personal parts in your Chinese horoscope? So maybe you know already the animal of the year you were born in, but did you know you have three more animal signs which are also important for your personal path in life? The animal sign you're born under in the month day and hour and depending on where your animal sign sits it can have a totally different meaning for you so would you like to know more about them let me know in the comments if you do let's get started okay it's first we're looking at the general energies of the year of the water rabbit 2023 the energy of the water rabbit year is really about inner development. It's upskilling, intuition, new beginnings, well-being, harmony and healing. And for those topics, we sometimes need to compromise. So we also have to be absolutely sure and concentrate on what is important. You see, the rabbit is more about the inner journey, not like the tiger before and the dragon to come which are more active but this one is really about the inside so what is the horse like in general well if you want to um, describe the horse in one word it would be popular people who are born in the horse years are independent outspoken and sociable they never seem to run out of conversations they love the great outdoors and often enjoy athletic pursuits there is a constant air of restlessness and impatience about them. Horse people are usually quite honest and principled. They are popular and quite attractive at times. <laughs> Horse people are often also ostentatious and impatient. They need people around them. They reject dishonest behavior and they try to stay straightforward in their dealings. Sometimes a little bit too straightforward for some other signs. <laughs> However, they maintain a healthy ego too, and this can bring out selfish sides in them. So what is this year for the horse? Yeah, the year governor is a water wood rabbit. So the wood definitely favors the horse, but the water weakens it. So it's a mixed game and also an inner game too. So be patient, enjoy the moment and what you have achieved so far and look forward to the year to come. Be prepared for the dragon. Know that contentment lies within you. Things take longer than in the tiger year before. Yes, that's for sure. But social aspects are far more important this year. So what are special months for the horse? Let's have a look at the months to come. June is a horse month. So a month to look inside and be focused. You know, dear horse, Rome wasn't built in one day and you don't have to do that either. So I would look at the goat days, tiger days, but we will look at that later with the special dates. Okay, July. July is a goat month. We have a combination of the horse and the goat, but the goat and the tiger are strong together. So you need to be a team player this month. Taking care of others is also really important. And you have to have patience again. I know horse, I know horse, but it's still time to be patient. 
the earth is strong in this combination um so moving shifting something would cost a lot of unnecessary energy um this month july find the balance in your life between activity and resting both aspects need their space um in august we have a monkey month and the monkey brings the agile monkey brings life back into it it's about having fun and enjoy but not for a high price you know making mistakes is okay if you can stand with it that's the monkey side of it you have to be responsible and once you make mistake take accountability and responsibility for that and then it's all good <laughs> so september is a rooster it's the year breaker so really take care of yourself finish what you started parido is king perfectionism doesn't serve you go with the 80 20 principle october support from the dog because you know you can always count on the dog he's really good with you so but make sure this month decisions need to be made but not just from the head but also from the heart take time to know all the facts to avoid disappointment and we're looking at the special dates in october later november is a pig month so what about your spiritual side that's what the water brings out your mental capacity support for others is important in a pig month too so what could be your contribution how is your communication address what's not going well to solve any issues that we have december is a red month so it's a clash month for the horse that means changes so go for it so if one way doesn't work how about looking for other ways to get to the goal be flexible and agile shouldn't be a big problem for you show them what you've got embrace the change and make no it makes no sense wasting your energy on what is not working january is an ox month it's a good month to implement your ideas and your patience now slowly pays off now that the um dragon is slowly coming up and moving so but the thing is um do you have to wait for that month to activate the good combinations well the effects may be stronger if it's contained in the year or month yes but we also have the day animal and even down to the hour if you want to go down that road which means for the horse if you are looking at a tiger or dog month look for the dog and tiger days and you will have a three combination to push your luck Let's have a look at some special dates for the horse to go even deeper. June, as I said, is a horse month. So horse days are established days. And we're looking at goat days and tiger days with dog hour or dog days with tiger hours. So goat days are the 6th, the 18th and the 30th. They are remove days. So use these days to remove what you don't want in your life anymore. To remove whatever you want to get rid of. Manifesting on those days should be really working well. Tiger days, the 13th and the 25th, and they are success days. So the dog hours, we're looking at the dog hours then to make the combination perfect, are between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And on the 13th, you've got a life governor star and the aging of stagnation. On the 25th, you've also got a life governor star and obstruction. So you may now say to me, Sandra, stagnation and obstruction are not really fortunate um, aging uh, uh, signs, are they? Well, <laughs> so you can do something about it. So there seems to be stagnation on the day. There seems to be obstruction on the day. So what I would use those two hours from 7 to 9 p.m. to on the 13th and on the 25th to either meditate or some introspective or just see what can you do about that stagnation? What, what is it good for maybe even? What does it prevent you from? The obstruction, maybe there's something good in it and you can't see that yet. So that's what I would use those days and hours for. The dog days in June are on the 9th and 21st. They are stable days. So the tiger hours are 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. So if you're an early bird, you can use them. Um, on the 9th, we've got again life governor and accomplished. On the, 22nd, on the 21st, we've got life governor and abundance. So those will be hours. If you're an early meditator, for instance, to manifest do you use these hours for manifesting if you're an early bird if you're not well ditch them we've got other good times and dates so that's all good july 
is a goat month. The goat days are established days. Um, the horse days are closed days. So again, there's a game of a little bit opening and closing in a way. So it's really interesting to look at that. And I had a look at the dog and tiger days and they probably are not much of a help. But I had a look at the three combination with rabbit and pig because it's the three combination with the goat. So we're looking at the pig days, which are on the 16th and 28th, and they are stable days again. The horse hour is on the 11 and 13, uh, 11 to, to 1 p.m. And we've got green dragon and nobleman rising on the 16th and happy spirit and nobleman rising on the 28th. So especially if you have goat, pig or rabbit anywhere in your bar, sir, I would use that. I would use that. Okay, October is a dog month. So I would look out for the tiger days, 11th and 23rd. They are both stable days. December is a red month. I said that before. So horse days will be destruction days. Watch out for your health in December, especially the 14th, because it's a fire horse. So we've got even more um, 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 opposition to the, the month governor, the red. But the day itself has good stars, a good I Ching. So keep it low key on that day, the 14th, Re self-reflection, take good care of yourself. Please, dear horses, low key in December. So the question is now, where do you have the horse in your personal bar? Which pillar? Just to remind you, the year pillar stands for the social aspect of your life and how you behave among friends, acquaintances, and your luck with them in general. The month pillar is representing your career, industries, where you might find the most opportunities, your ability to provide value and how you would do it best. The day pillar is about who you are on a fundamental level, your inner nature and what makes you unique, as well as representing your love life, because we've got the self and spouse palace in there. Don't forget that. Our pillar is representing your thoughts, ambitions, goals in life, as well as the aspects of children, investment and your employees, if you have them. Okay, so depending on where the horse sits in your barter, this is the area to take action now or on the dates that are provided. Is there a clash? Is there a combination? Is it about job, career, relationship, business, investment? And so, you know, where are the best days and months to take action? Looking out for the combination and clashes as well to find luck and success in 2023. Now that you know all that, what is the one thing, the one thing that you can do in one of those areas now or plan for the dates I just gave you to bring you forward? One thing to prepare the path. It doesn't have to be a massive effort. Sometimes small baby steps are preparing the path with much more ease than a huge step. And then you're overwhelmed by the sudden changes. And you now also know that you have four animals that define your possibilities and opportunities in relationship, personal development, business development, and so much more for the rest of the water rabbit year. Stay tuned for more insight and forecasts about the other animals of the journey zodiac here on this channel and what to emphasize in the last months of the water rabbit year to optimize and achieve your goals. Because next year, next year is going to be a wood dragon year. And that will be a totally different game. For some of us easier, for some of us a bit harder. So make the best of what you got now here. And if you want to know what is best to do this month, well, have a look at my monthly, The Power of Bards and monthly forecast series, also here on this channel. And of course, you could subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any of my videos then. Thank you so much for that. Have a fabulous time and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.